Now, A&M, South Carolina, again, this, I keep going back to this because it's my favorite football game we have this coming weekend. Uh, does A&M have that second punch offensively? Because there's going to be a point in time here where South Carolina draws a line in the sand and Dylan Stewart comes hot off the edge and whether it's a sack or whether it's a pressure, whatever, like he, he will, he will have some, uh, he will have some chin music for Marcel Reed. What does Marcel Reed do? What does this AM offense do when they have pressure, pressure applied to them? Do they have a second punch? Do they have another gear? We keep saying that throughout the course of the show because I think that's the story for AM. If they can push the ball downfield, if they have a passing game, they're going to be in the mix for the national championship because they have every other box checked. They can run the football, they can play great defense. They do good football team things. Does Marcel Reed, though, bring that extra ingredient at the quarterback position to not just go compete for things down the road, but like in this football game, do we see that extra gear? Because you're on the road now. And I think when you're at home, you're able to play to you know your own skill set a little bit more easily. When you're, when you're on the road, though, uh, you got to find a way to have extra things packed in your bag. Does A&M have that packed in their bag? Because if they just want to play trenches with, with South Carolina – I don't know that it favors either side, but I'll tell you this, a trench game against a trench team in South Carolina that specializes in that, that quite frankly will have the crowd out their back if this thing is close, uh, not a way you want to live. You want to quiet the crowd down, push the ball downfield. College football sickos, make sure you are subscribed right here to the On3 YouTube channel. College football, nothing but college football the way that you want it talked about. This show is brought to you by our friends over at Prize Picks. When you play $5 in lineups, you get $50 in promo funds. Now, we have a square for you in this segment that we like a lot. So get dialed in, use that code at prizepicks.com, code hard count, and we'll have ourselves a tremendous college football Saturday. Now, for South Carolina, what I just said, they're a trench football team. They're at the crib. They have made a living this year being the bully. Almost bullied Alabama. Uh, they did bully for the better part of two quarters LSU and then let that one get away. Absolutely bullied Oklahoma. They want to run the football. They want to stop the run. They want to rush the passer. They have a top three sack rate in America. And so when you're at home, it's about playing your style of game, in my opinion. Can you bully a team that also considers themselves a bully? In Texas A&M, Lenora Sellers now, this is the game, man. You go back to the rec specs, I don't know. I understand that, you know, been contact as of late, and I'm all for that. I wonder if the rec specs add a little more juice. Food for thought, Lenoris. He's got to be a factor in the run game here. Because Texas A&M is far too stout in the interior of that defensive line to just allow them to, to go north and south with Rocket Sanders. I think you need something to keep them off balance. So again, can you get after Marcel Reed? Can you run the football? Those are the things that I'm watching here in that ball game. But regardless, that's going to be a lot of fun. If A&M can get past this spot, I think you have more confidence going forward into the Auburn game because I don't think there's a more difficult spot on Texas A&M's schedule than this one. On the road, rocks environment, emotional win that you just had at home, switching quarterbacks, first-year head coach. Like There's, there's a lot here for A&M. Are we able to be mature, and are we able to match up with a bully in the SEC? Excited to see. So those are the game deciders we have here for Week 10. Going to be a real good time. Real quick note here, prize pick square for you. When it comes to the South Carolina A&M game, Le'Veon Moss, his number is at 82.5 rush yards. I'll go ahead and take the more there. Why? Because he's averaged 91.5, or I believe maybe even 98.5 rush yards. Bottom line, he surpassed that in four out of his last five games. I would roll with Le'Veon Moss, and uh, I think that ultimately as this game wears on, his rushing total will be past the 82.5 number. So again, code hard count. $5 in line at surprisepicks.com gets you $50 in promo funds when you use that code.